the first day we actually came back to speak yeah. was the clip that they showed online. Wow. That was the first time that we had the got- The promo it. clip? Yeah, that was like a few weeks ago. That was the first time that we really sat down and spoke since the TV show went off air. Mm. Was it awkward? We sound crazy. Hey, hey. That's the energy. Okay. The energy. Like you, it's gonna you're going to get, get it game. shortly. Yeah. The energy. This the energy all episode. <laughs> Welcome to another week of We Sound Crazy. Your boy, Phil Yanair, is in the building. Claude Kelly is in the building. What's up? Chuck Harmony is in the building. Bacon from Macon is in the building. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? We still in the ATL. Still in the ATL. Yeah, I, I see some extra smiles in here. Uh-huh. <laughs> extra smiles. We, we might have a special guest in here. No, now. this is special as... An understatement. We've yes. been talking about this guest since, since we the beginning. Yes. Literally. Really? Yes. 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 Literally. Goals, goals, yes. Goals. Yes. What? Yes. Yeah. This yeah. This is this is this is big. Today we've got uh, let me start off. It's so many, it's a CVS receipt. We yeah, 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 <laughs> but it's like take your time. A songwriter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A songwriter. A songwriter. Writer. writer. A producer. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Recording artist. We know that side. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, but yeah, a superstar yeah. recording entre- artist. A, a, Absolutely. Yeah. Can't, I'm just, but I'm just want to make sure that I highlight go, songwriter, go, go. Yeah, yeah. producer, entrepreneur, mm-hmm. philanthropist, mm-hmm. mother, mm-hmm. wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Candy Burris is in the building. Hey, candy candy Burris. Thank Thank you. You. Thanks for having me. Now, you, you have been on the top here. of this since the beginning. That's really? true. Yeah. You want to yeah. know why? Well, thank yeah. you. You want to know why? Why? Because we started this podcast to highlight songwriters and producers and artists that really inspired the culture and when we talk about songwriting your name has to come up yeah. as one of the best Every yeah. time. thank you yeah, that, y'all got me over here feeling yeah. like <laughs> that. Kind of one of the best that's so sweet yeah no, and, I mean, it, and 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 you don't get your flowers about your songwriting i mean no. you're always in the media about something but people don't talk about the songwriting yeah. so we want to talk about it yeah. okay yeah, let's yeah, talk yeah. about <laughs> it let's, go let's, let's get into it Okay, well, we started with one of the, one of the many bangers, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, that you're responsible for. Um, and like we said, your pen is crazy. And I think people treat songwriting like it's easier than it is. Mm-hmm. Yes. Much yes. easier than it is. So, first of all, have you always been passionate about songwriting? Is that Was that a, like a... <laughs> yeah. Since, since, like, since I jump? think... Um, well, when I was a little kid, I always was like writing songs, coming mm. up with melodies and stuff like that. Like I always had used to have like a little notepad that I would write down song titles, mm. concepts yeah. and stuff. I would keep it in my pad. I remember when our group um, first got together, um, we had, I had wrote some rap or something. <laughs> I don't know. We used to like this before we had a deal. You yeah, know, yeah, we, yeah. They, we'd be singing and rapping and whatever we would be doing back in the day. But um and then shortly thereafter, I also had this little boyfriend he produced. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember I would go in the studio with him sometime and try to come try up to with stuff. Yeah. yeah, do a little something. And then um, Ian Burke, you know, he was working with our group when yeah, we were yeah. yep. you know, trying to get our deal. And um, he was taking us to meet different producers and writers. And one of the producers was actually somebody I grew up knowing because he was a friend of my big brothers. Um, his name was Chris and um, William Burke. Um, they were like a team. And um, so I used to go over to their house or where they were producing at and they would just play me tracks and they didn't want me to do any words. They just wanted me to do melodies Melody. okay. all day. They, he would just have me just sing different melodies, just come mm-hmm. up. So he will just play a track and I'll just come up with, you know, 10 different melodies to the same track. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you lived in the studio coming like, well, this was like in high school. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know yeah. what I mean? Um, at the time I didn't really know, what I was doing Mm -hmm. was something that could be a career as far as the writing part. I knew, you know, me and the group, I knew we could be a career, but I didn't realize the importance of the songwriter at the time. Mm -hmm. I just knew that I liked creating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and that, and William, I remember he said to me at the time, he saw, he's be like, Ken Dacey. And I (laughs) hate it when he would say that. Because, yeah, you know, my name is Candy, Candy and yeah. so many people be like Candace. And I'm like, that's not my, my name. Right. And so he was like, one day 
they gonna say and the award goes to mm. ken daisy <laughs> and i was like i hate that name but you know how we have to come up with the um publishing yeah, yeah, names yeah, yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. so the first couple names i tried didn't go through and so i just wrote candacy as like a third choice and that's the one that went through wow. <laughs> so now you stuck with it no but i feel like he spoke that into my life because i did win yeah. awards as a songwriter and the award went too to huh? that's Candace candacy music yeah. publisher yeah. Yeah. Spoke that. <laughs> but see that's what i'm saying like songwriting is something that they don't now maybe but back then it wasn't promoted as this is a career you could have mm -hmm. it's like you're an yeah. artist and someone else's the songs come from somewhere but they don't say you can be a songwriter mm. right it's like you be thinking like okay i'm an artist so i can write my own song right you don't necessarily when you first start out think about oh i can just write yeah publishing mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah as a thing mm -hmm. so but when y'all got the deal did you write on the first album <sighs> no um what was it on the first album, did we have anything? No, 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 no. Um, Jermaine really wrote most of the first album. Organized yeah. Noise mm -hmm. uh, contributed mm -hmm. as well, I believe. No, they came. Yeah, no, they came on board on the second album. Okay. Um, but he wrote most of the, the first album mm -hmm. himself. And I remember at the time we used to be like, "Hey, you know, can you let us write a little something?" Can you write? And he was just like, "Yeah, just come on in here and do this." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on here and do a little something. But something. on the second album. I remember I kept like, hey, man, just let me write, you know, just something. Just let me do a little something. So you something. were asking. Yeah. I mean, I think we all as a group would, you know, yeah. ask could we write. And um, finally, one, you know, like a couple times, mm. he let us contribute. But yeah. I don't never really take credit for that mm. because he always, he would have like the concept is mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Or the hook is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'll let us contribute to the that. verses mm -hmm. or whatever. So y'all know as songwriters, if you feel like you came up with the concept, you came up with the <laughs> yeah, melody yeah, 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 and yeah, the yeah. hook, and they just came up with some words, and you just, I'll just let you, you know. <laughs> you don't need this over here. You don't mean this. You go a little favorite. bit. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, I've done that too. Yeah, people. of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, not to say that that doesn't equal to money. Money, yeah. yeah. But for me as a writer, I feel like, I had to come up with most yeah, yeah, of yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. to say like, yeah, I wrote that. Yeah. You know what I so, mean? So it was a second before you were able to conceptualize, present the whole. Yeah. I feel like, um, I feel like at, at that point, I don't think Jermaine trusted the artist to create for themselves mm -hmm. because mind you, his artist before us, um, you know, with crisscross mm -hmm. and um, well, he had a rap group before crisscross, but yeah, I um, know that. Yeah, my homegirl, Jordan, um, Jordan Victoria, she was in the group. What's the name of the group? Uh, Silk, Silk Times, Times, Times Leather. Leather. Yeah, come on, it Timon. Was Silk Times Leather. You, you know, he's he from <laughs> Macon, so he, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, that's he how had we did. Silk Times know, Leather first. Movie. He wrote all that stuff. He had um, crisscross, he wrote all that stuff. Yeah. Here we come. Okay, he writing most of our stuff. Well, I all of well, he had you know a couple other people. Right, yeah. Emmanuel Seal. Emmanuel Seal, yeah. yeah. You know, crazy songwriter. But too. you know, for the most part, yeah. You know, he was coming up with all that stuff. So, um, I don't think he necessarily trusted the creative of the music and, and yeah. song to give it to the artist yet. And I kind of get that because you you don't. It's precious. You don't want, you don't want it to be bad because yeah. God forbid y'all you didn't suck. But if you say oh, yeah, write it and then it's terrible, then you're, right. yeah. you right. It's a problem. Yeah. So we did a little sum on the um, second album, but yeah, I think I personally feel that it wasn't until you know our group started having our issues and you know we was trying to figure out what else we were gonna do mm -hmm. that. I really started coming through as a songwriter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and and there's a whole grind to, if you're trying to be an artist, there's things you have to do to be an artist, right? There's lots right. of steps, but then the songwriting is the same thing. So when we finally met, like I think there's the, the world knows Candy as, as Candy from Escape, but it was shocking to me because I'm like, well, she's an R&B star. She's a star, so yeah. why would she be doing these Candy was in the studio. Yeah. Do you know what I'm That's saying? That's how we met in the studio. Like in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like songs, loads of songs and yeah. ideas. It was, and I was like, no, she's, I don't think y'all understand. Like she's really, she's, she's a writer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm interested in knowing your approach 
like when you're working with artists because you eventually got to a point where you it was literally a candy song yes on the radio like every 30 minutes mm-hmm. kind of still is yeah. but still is you know what I'm saying? Like, kinda, not and, really <laughs> I don't I don't write like I used to, meaning okay. not that I can't write yeah. like mm-hmm. I used to, but I don't put in the work of being in the studio. Like you said, yeah, back yeah. around the time we met, mm-hmm. I'd stayed in the studio. Yeah. Like stayed. every day. I remember a couple of years straight, I was like, no, I need to be in the studio on New Year's Eve because I felt like it was a thing, like a good luck thing. Yeah, like yeah. I have to be in the studio yeah, on New that. Year's Day yeah. or else the rest of my year it's ain't going to be right. year off yeah. wrong, right? Right. Yeah. So like I had so many songs that, you know, I was putting on different mm-hmm. people or whatever within one year, which is hard to do. Yes. Realistic. So what is the thought process when you're going in with someone uh-huh. and you're like, I want to get this song placed on this person? Like, just what is the approach? Because you're not going to mesh with everybody. That is true. So, <laughs> so <laughs> what I like to do is um, I like to personally already have a concept mm-hmm. in mind. Mm-hmm. Already have kind of kind of do them like how Jermaine used to do it. <laughs> 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 Basically, yeah, 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 yeah. I already had a concept. I already got like a melody pretty much. Mm-hmm. I already know what this, I want the song to talk about. A lot of times low key I'm like how the hook already yeah, yeah, yeah. in my head what I yep. want to do. Um, so I'll have a few different, like if I'm going in, like say for instance, um, back when Shakespeare and I would work with people, mm-hmm. you know, we would are al- he would already have played me a few tracks or whatever. Before. In my mind, I already know pick which ones <laughs> yeah. I want you to do. Yeah. Now it depends on the situation. You know, some artists are going to come in and say they want to co-write. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you can't come in and have the song already fully done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some artists are cool with you already having the song fully done. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I have songs for that too. Right, right, you know right. what I mean? Yeah. But, or it's going to be majority done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, for artists that I know, they already said they want to help, they, you know, they want to be a part of this album. Mm. You know, they really want to write. Mm-hmm. You know, they get, you get yeah, that yeah, conversation, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. So you kind of have to kind of guide them through the process because. Some artists just aren't, uh, they just aren't writers. Nice. No matter how hard they claim They're they are, not. how much they want to be. They don't, yeah. like, to, they don't like to hear that. But they don't want to hear it. Yeah. You know, they want to be able to say they wrote it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without yes. really. Without really writing. 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 Yeah. They so, want to be able to put, just add some words, and a couple <laughs> yeah. of lyrics. And get that little published. So yeah. th- there's a hot topic about that, about artists taking publishing that didn't write on songs. Like who, Chuck? Why you put me on the spot? I thought the okie doke. We were cool. <laughs> Have you ever experienced it? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how did you feel about it? How did you respond? I've turned some down. Yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, I actually, actually turned down um, a Beyonce record. Mm-hmm. What? And it, do and you think it was worth it? No. but it it, it, it was a group decision and the majority ruled and so i went with it Mm. and it got placed on someone else but it would have been massive on Mm. beyonce but i respected the the stance it was a a british producers yeah and and i I, i'd done a song in london and they just their whole system is different about how they just do their business and everything and they were not trying they were like nope we wrote it we know the date it was written in the studio in london we're not giving any publishing in a way and i rocked with it Damn, I was pissed. I was like, <laughs> I could have been on this. I think it was like the for four, the album four, mm. Beyonce four. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it was like around the time she was, it was stadium stuff, and I was so pissed. You should so, have been pissed. But and, <laughs> I, and, and, and I feel like you got to crawl before you walk. Yeah. And zero percent of nothing. Zero percent of, of something that didn't go nowhere. So like, get your five percent, get your ten percent. Yeah. And also, it's not just the money. You are learning along the way. Yeah. Yeah. About In a perfect world, of course, you, everyone's fair and good. And they, but you know. Okay, but at this point, we've learned. So how do you feel about <laughs> Oh, you mean like now? Yeah, like now. Nah, like, today? No, nah, nah, it's a no. It's a you no. would say no, even if it was a massive project that you could be a part of? That's a good question. Damn, Candy. Damn. Don't put me in the spot. Uh, you don't flip the you know what? If, if, it, if there's no. ability to make a lot of money, yeah, then yeah. You're, you're literally leaving money on the table with a no. I so agree. I don't know that that's at any point that's the best thing to yeah. do. Yeah. What about you, Candy? How would you handle that today? Today, 
I go into the studio with a different approach. Mm. Okay. Now, unless it's a song that I was thinking to do, like, say, for instance, if I was doing it in mind for my group or if I was mm-hmm. doing it in mind for myself, now I try to just do a verse and the hook. Mm. Because if I do that and I know you come in and you want to co-write, co-write. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. then I don't feel so bad letting you co- throw a couple of lyrics yeah, yeah, on yeah. there. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Even though I already know I already set the direction of this song. Yeah. But I don't feel like you, you know, took nothing from me. Yeah, I guess yeah. We, we do that, though. Yeah, yeah well, I, I was like, here's the chorus. Have at the do what you want with the verses. I trust you there, but this is this chorus gotta be. I always trust them totally with the verse because like they melody might be whack, <laughs> they concept <laughs> might be like, where you going with this? I still, <laughs> I still would kind of like guide Got you them. through it, yeah. but at least we did it together. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, like say for instance, when you know you do Nashville sessions, mm-hmm. even if a person only did one, one line, line yeah. everybody split equally, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But because they was a part of, of it. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm gonna allow you to be a part of it yeah. if we gonna be a part of it. Now I do, um, you know, I've had a few situations where, you know, there was, you know, back and forth about uh, you splits, know, splits and, yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Most uncomfortable conversation ever, by the way, is them splits conversations when you know that someone is trying to get over on you. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah, I watched yeah. the speak on it, so I've seen it, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I've had some moments in the past, yeah. for sure. But, um, you know, it, 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 I, I feel like as far as, like, if somebody had a, a huge artist that they could be a part of their record, yeah, I, I wouldn't say give to you know a huge part of the yeah, song yeah. but giving up some of the songs so that you can get yourself where you need to be i don't think it's a a problem i, I agree i agree that. i agree i say had to have a joy had to play games now you're begging me to stay there you go looking pitiful just because i let you go there you go come on I'm candy singing backgrounds <laughs> on, this song. You, I, on this one you can't hear yeah, me. I can hear you. No, I'm not. I wasn't paying attention. I'm on there with her. Yeah. Man. You know, I love me some pink. So mm. we always, we, we're talking about your songwriting, right? But yeah. I also want to make it clear because many people don't realize Candy's also a producer. Oh, yeah. Not just a song, songwriter and producer. Mm-hmm. No, and, I, and I, I would highlight that because a lot of times, oftentimes for a lot of women in our industry, they don't give the same acknowledgement. Sure. I've talked right. to Missy Elliott about that. Mm-hmm. I think back with uh, Angela Wimbush. There's mm-hmm. a, a very short, small list mm-hmm. that have gotten recognized, but I want to make sure we're celebrating the pin, yeah. but also she's in there engineering, producing mm-hmm. the whole night. So I just want to make sure we put some res- extra <laughs> no, I, respect. Well, thank yeah. you. 100%. But so in, that, in the spirit of songwriters and producers, your Mount Rushmore of your favorite songwriters and producers that inspire you. Wait, can we do this? I'm going to do songwriters. Oh, and producers separately. Give me a Mount Rushmore of your top songwriters and a Mount Rushmore of your top producers. So top four of each. Oh my God. Because I know. Because I, 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 you, can't, you can't put them together. There's, there's too much greatness okay. there. Um, I mean, I have to put Lionel Richie, mm-hmm. Babyface. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. I mean, people don't want to talk about him, but R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. A hundred percent. Jermaine. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put him up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, How many? We, yeah, that's, that's four. four. That's four. That's, that's four. four. You talking about songwriting? Uh, Yeah. Or, well, you, wait. You, 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 See, you, Jermaine kind of fall in that yeah, weird he kinda, place. Yeah, he kinda, he he's the bridge. He's the bridge because he does both. Right. Well, I've been in the studio with him as a writer and a producer, so I'm just going to throw him in there. That's okay. Fine. That's fine. Okay. Because I think a lot of people just think he make a beat. Yeah. <laughs> I do think, yeah. Yeah. And he actually contributes to lyric yeah. and melody, yeah. you yeah. know, like a majority, mm. you know, a lot yeah, of people, times. Yeah, people don't see that. Yeah. On a lot of the songs that, you know, from back when we was working together, I don't know what he's doing, doing now. now. <laughs> no. I don't know. But yeah, he comes up with a majority. So anyway, um, so... See, now in our current day, I have to much love to dream and tricky. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yep, yep, um, yeah, it's like so many different writers um, and producers that I've worked with. Like, you have, but I mean, the list you, the list you name. Yeah, right no. Now oh, I was saying, I was about to say Dean's name. And I, oh, I, Esther I, Dean? Esther Dean. Yeah, I said my yeah. girl. <laughs> and I said, <started laughs> 
Yeah, Esther, Esther Dean. Dean. Yeah, I love Esther. Remind me to tell you that. Remind me to tell you my me, you, and Esther story that changed my life, and I'll get, get, get to that in a second. The Esther. me, you, and Esther story. Yes, because we, me and Esther, met you together. Oh, you know, really? Yes. Okay. Well, is what that, was is the that me, where the phrase Esther come story? from? Yes. <laughs> we <laughs> say <laughs> that phrase all, right, all the time. All right. So, uh, Damon Eden, the A and R, did a songwriting camp in Atlanta for Kiki Palmer. When okay. she was super young. I remember that. And the premier songwriter for the writing camp was Candy because she was the biggest songwriter. Oh, I was? Okay. Yeah, she's like, that's how they were like, Candy's going to be there. You had to be there. So me and Esther were brand spanking new, didn't have no cuts. And we met for the first time there. We clicked and we're working. And so our whole goal was like, if we can just get Candy in the room to write with us, right? We might get a cut, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we're writing this song on this dope. It's for Kiki Palmer. Never, and so we play it for you. Come in, like, what's what y'all doing? We're like, we're you like, let me hear it. We play it. Like, I like that. We're like, yeah, you know, kind of do what you do. We're like, we left the second verse for you. You were like, I like it. And then you looked around the room and you counted. You were like, yeah, more than two. I don't do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and walked out the room. And then I walked out the room. <laughs> wow. But the thing was, we cracked the f up because it was like, oh, yeah. who the hell do we think we were asking her to get on the song in the first place? But it was a publishing lesson because she was like, y'all, first of all, y'all don't need me. It's good, but I'm not, yeah. we don't need to split this a mad way. It's just because. Yeah. yeah. And I've ever never since been then, a fan of that. Yeah. We've, to this day, I'd be like, like Candy says, more than two, I don't do. We say that all the time. Well, because to me, I'm I'm just going to keep it 100. When you got too many people in a room, somebody in that room ain't, ain't, ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And they true. just sitting there getting a ch taking a percentage for yes. what? Yep. It's like the two of us came up mm -hmm. with the concept, the melody, the verses, is fire. What? What are you saying? You said, ooh, and now you want to get 10%? Why? That's exactly what it was. Yeah, I don't like that. And yeah. and I've seen it happen way mm -hmm. too many times, so I don't even like to put myself in that position. position. Yeah. I don't even want you coming in the room with me. Don't be in the room. Don't be coming in the room with me and then come back later. I've seen people fall out bad. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. bad. Yes. Yes. One time I was scared. One this home girl of mine, I ain't gonna say no names. Okay. okay. But this was a really, really big time producer that you would never think would act like this. Him, this girl had claimed some split on a song that he had, and she was holding up his money off mm -hmm. this album. Yeah. So she had me in the studio. She because she was working at a label at the time. She had me in the studio working with a different artist. So I'm in the studio. He just so happened to be at the same studio that same day. And she came to drop by my session, but he saw her. Uh -oh. He was like, had the pool stick in hand yeah. going yeah. off. I was like, <laughs> not the pool Whoa, stick. I didn't even think you would like that, sir. What is wrong with you? He went in. He was like, I'm sorry, Candy. I hate that you see me act like this, but she's a liar. She did. I was like, Whoa. Nah, yeah. them, them publishing yeah. conversations get serious. What? Oh my God. I don't, mm -mm. And so, I don't have some fallouts too, see? but it, you know, not to that level, I don't think. So, yeah. more than two, we don't do. We don't do. This is what we learned from Candy, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And, it's, and every time I, we, me and Esther talk, we're like, more than two, I don't do. <laughs> To this day, <laughs> you you lying. To this day, it's it's like it's like in my, it's, it's so ingrained funny. in my head. Wow. That is hilarious. And then we we were cool after that. We went to you took, you took us all around Atlanta. Went to Houston's and everything. I just give them legs and oh, yeah. hips and oh, yeah. body body. I'm just gonna give them give them give them give them all. How did this one deserve to get on the list? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a cultural moment. Right. It's a cultural moment. Legs, this hips, so body. What you mean? How, that that's a cultural moment, and the reason why I love that is that if you probably don't even realize you're doing it when you're doing it, and it's probably a combination of the fact that you're on TV at the time. But because of that, you were able to be a part of I think how songwriting evolved. Mm. So oh, okay, a lot of it is that like there's the way we we were learned, we were taught to write songs and present them, but now with social media and TV, things go viral like this. It could be just like thirty seconds of your song, right? And you've had. So many of those moments with songs of yours or clips from the show yeah. mm -hmm. where it's like it wasn't the whole traditional song you made. It was like this clip of it or people take 30 seconds and now that's a stream of income for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that one. Yeah, uh, that was very unexpected. I had did um, this play. Mm -hmm. I had made a play and I had wrote all the songs in the play. And so we did the soundtrack for it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then years later... My friend, she edited my video. I was walking 
And so she put that clip <laughs> on the video. And when I posted it, like a, the next day, my friend was like, you know, your stuff going viral. I was like, what? What are yeah. you talking about? And then I, I found out it was that. I was like, it's like <laughs> so, so you were kind of mad about it? No, no, no. I was just shocked. Okay. Mm, gotcha. Because the song was just sitting around. Yeah. It wasn't like it was something that planned I was to plan to do something with. So I was just like, okay, well, now what do I do with this information? Everybody is <laughs> yeah. like, am I supposed to do something? Because you know, like normally you are promoting a record. Right, yeah, you're yeah, going right, to yeah. radio. You're right. doing this. So right. if it's just a random song you got to just start going viral on TikTok. Right. You know, it's like, well, what do I do? And that's the world we live in now, though. It's just like you can be minding your business the next day. Something you did is viral. And then you got to you got to capitalize. But you be capitalizing, Candy. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You really do. I mean, and and I think of a mother's love. It makes me think about that play was great, of course. Yeah. But now, like, fast forward today, you're a producer on The Wiz. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to us about that. That's big. Well, that is like a dream come true. Mm -hmm. Like, I always wanted to be a part of Broadway since... It's high school. Mm-hmm. Um, and now to be a producer and mm. to be able to produce a, a, a just something that's iconic as the wig. Yes. Right, right. You know, it's just like next level for me. And I just I'm hoping because, you know, we all got our dreams. Right. Mm-hmm. My dream is to get the E guy. Right. You're and in order way. to do that, I have to get a Tony. I got to yeah. get you know, all these other things. So I'm like, um, I'm working at it. Yeah. And I am praying that the Wiz will give me that tea. It's looking good. Need. It's looking good. It's looking good. We've been getting good, great reviews. Um, and, you know, the show is dope. It's mm-hmm. it's it's amazing to be a part of something that, like, um, you know, I'm a part of being able to put the people in place and yeah. mm-hmm. have say-so of who's doing what, right, you know? Yeah. Um, our cast is crazy, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, we, we, we work with Avery. Yeah. And so we, I remember when he was auditioning, so we kind of lived through him and his uh-huh. experience. He had nothing but positive things. Like he's just ups. He's just. It's changed his life. Yeah, he's dope. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he's so dope. I, I feel like he hasn't gotten to the level of success that I see him being at Same. one day. Yeah. Like I Same. feel like he's gonna be, you know, so huge. Mm-hmm. That, you know, yeah. I mean, I'm, this is just one notch that's gonna be on his belt. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. but um, I'm I'm glad because now people get to see how great of an actor he is. Yeah. Everybody knows he's like this amazing vocalist or whatever. Yeah. But um, he's just killing it. But, you know, Wayne Brady, yeah. Deborah, Deborah Cox. Cox yeah. And it's so funny because these are people like that, you know, we always like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? And now Deborah Cox it's is in homie. our show. Yes. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? And so it's, 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 it's a um, major moment, you know? I mean, we talked about it. Cause I'm I'm also interested in getting to Broadway, and I'm I'm still gonna pick your brain for advice because you're doing it, doing it. But I love I love the diversity. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times yeah. we get caught up because this way is not working today. Like the way I was I was doing it yesterday. Yeah. But the example I take from you, and I think a lot of people do, is that you got to use all of your gift mm-hmm. and get all them dreams out. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. You do. It'd that. be too much. People be trying to tell you to stay in your lane, mm-hmm. yeah. and wow. I hate that because it's like I'm not. In, I'm in all the lanes. <laughs> all the lanes. <laughs> all yeah. Lanes. Take all the lanes. Yeah. You know, I just hate when people say stay in your lane because then it's like, okay, you're trying to put me in a box. Yes. Exactly. And you know, a lot, especially creative mm-hmm. people, it's like we got so many different yes. talents. You know, we don't want to just stay in one thing. Where does that come from? I like what? was little candy. Selling lemonade and selling <laughs> like, where, Fixing where, do, tires. where do you feel like you get that from? Because I, uh, I feel like Candy is the poster woman for you can literally do anything you set your mind to. Yeah. I know I sit back and I watch you and I'm just like, you know what? I have no excuse. Like Candy is out here. She got no, her hand in everything. Yeah, yeah. It's true. So where, where do you think that comes from? Um, To be honest, it started from me just saying I don't ever want to be broke. Yeah. Like I don't ever want to be broke because, you know, when you are a quote unquote child star because you know we got our record deal when I was 16 I was still in high school I didn't want to be that typical story of okay you know when they um you know once they fall off then they be broken yes you know they everybody always be talking about they used to be yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I never want that to be me so like I was constantly trying to figure out like once we got in as a group and that started taking off 
you know, I was like, okay, well, what else can I do? Because this may not last forever. And once you start living to a certain lifestyle, you don't want to go back. You don't want to go back. And it's like, I didn't go to college. I didn't do this. So it's like, how do I maintain that? Mm -hmm. So like the only way you, you got to figure out multiple career paths. I remember seeing Queen Latifah won um, Sammy Davis Jr. Award mm -hmm. at the Some Lady of Soul mm -hmm. Awards yeah. I went to. And I think I was like 19, maybe yeah. mm -hmm. 18, 19. No. Yeah, 19. And I sat there and I saw her win it because she was um she was a rapper. Yeah. She had a management company at the time. Yeah, yeah. Unit. She yeah, she had her um production company. She was actress. Acting. You know, so she had like all these different things that she was doing successfully mm -hmm. yeah. at the time. And she got that award. And so when I, I sat there and I told Tiny, I said, I'm gonna get that award one day. Now that award, they don't do it anymore. <laughs> but it's like that gave me what I need. The next day I went home. I called Wingo from Jagged mm -hmm, Edge. He, mm -hmm. You know, they weren't Jag, um, Jagged Edge at the time. Um, they were just starting as a group or whatever. And I was like, hey, she knows, Wingo. She, she knows where all the bodies are. Right. Well, no, we, me team. and Wingo went to high school together. So okay. I was like, hey, I was like, you still got that group? And he was like, yeah. I said, okay, I'm going to manage y'all. And so the next day they came up because I was like, she managed people. I'm going to manage people. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I ended up getting them their deal. And What? Well, yeah. 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 Yeah, I got Jacket as their deal. And, um, you know, I worked as their manager for a little while. You know, we got the album going, you know, got us. And then my group was having so much drama. I said, y'all, I can't do it. <laughs> y'all got to do y'all own thing. This management thing is, is not for me right now. I got to get my own life yeah. together. But um, seeing her win mm -hmm. like that, it it made me realize, okay, this is a thing. Like, yeah. we can, yeah. you know, you can do all these things and make yeah. it happen successfully. Yeah. You just have to be cool with working nonstop, and I'm cool with that. Yeah. How, how do you prioritize? Like, how do you say this is going to be important at this time and this is going to be not so important at this time? That's the crazy part. Mm -hmm. I think that's the really hard thing to do is to find the balance and um, find your priorities, right? Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to make everything about money, but we do have to realize, okay, what is going to be paying the bills? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. right? Yeah. Some things are, I got to put in the work today as songwriters, mm -hmm. right? For some that we may not get. Two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So we want to still keep that going, but we got to be making money too. Mm -hmm. So... Sometimes like that's why I feel like I have not been writing as much mm -hmm. because I put priority on the yeah. things yeah. and putting the time and energy into things that was getting me the money, money. currently. Yeah. yeah, I mean it makes you sense know? though. Um, but at the same time, I feel like I failed myself in that way, and I'm gonna be honest because I do feel like you know a lot of the people that I wor was working with and uh, they gone on to do even bigger and better things, and I have like totally left that that lane open like i don't even be over there no more yeah. you know I, what i'm I, saying they're, they're saying the same thing about you they're like damn she went on to bigger and better things <laughs> Definitely. You know yeah saying? but we like, all say that about yeah, each yeah, other yeah, right yeah. the grass okay. is greener yeah yeah but you know i i miss those days of being in the studio non-stop yeah. mm -hmm. you know and when i see my friends doing that and, and doing it successfully it makes me think like, dang, I need to get back in the studio. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though, you know, like you said, they probably look at what I'm doing. They're like, oh, shit, I need to be doing You're doing that. what she's doing, right. But, Definitely. you know, it's it, it's it's all about, you know, doing figuring out what we love, you know, what mm -hmm. we want to put our, you know, put time and energy into. And then yeah. you got to still have time for yourself. So. Yeah, family yeah, and everything yeah. else. Yeah, so it's just kind of so many balls to juggle i've always <laughs> appreciate what i've appreciated about you is how you you're always willing to bring others along you're oh, always willing sure. to put people on and i always sit back and i'm like candy is as blessed as she is because she's willing to open the door to other people and give them opportunities like where where did that thought process because you, you could definitely do i mean you can't do it by yourself but you can always take the credit for everything because you're candy birds it's, but it's, you easier always, to, it's easier to be greedy but like even watching the show like and i can never understand on the show people had certain snot remarks to say about i'm like candy is always putting people on <laughs> <laughs> right so where that come from yeah you know what it's so when it comes to that show and just life period i, I told a friend recently i was like I have never realized how I always end up being the villain in somebody's story. Like, which is crazy. To and me. which I don't even know what I've Just done. Just your business, right? Yeah, Just like, it'd be like, wait, what? How'd that happen? Because I, I'm genuinely trying to 
you know, Help. look out for mm-hmm. other people while I'm coming up as well. You know, mm-hmm. if I see an opportunity, I don't even ask people to like, I'm not asking you to give me nothing. I right. just like yeah. throw it your way yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. to me, if we coming up as a squad, yeah. Yeah. even when I'm not hot, we together, you still making me hot yeah. yes, because, you know, like I poured into you, you poured into yeah. me. We out together. Everybody's like checking my stuff because yeah. they checking me your stuff. Yeah. And it ain't really hurting me to like if I'm already doing something anyway mm-hmm. to like, you know, share, the ne- yeah, share yeah. or throw it to the next friend. Yeah. If I can't do something, throw it to you or whatever. That has never been an issue to me. I know some people be so caught up into this competition thing that they don't want anybody to do any yeah. better, more yeah. or better than them. Mm-hmm. That has never been me. No. Because I feel like the one thing about having longevity in the business, mm. we've been in it long enough to see mm-hmm. the intern become the top, top guy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Listen, yeah. yes. right? So yeah. don't count nobody out. You can't nobody. count nobody, nobody. out. Yes. Like I've seen it happen so yeah. many times. Like I don't want to. <laughs> I don't feel like you should hurt any relationship because you don't know where that person is going. That's so true. That's and so if true. you could have poured it to them any in any kind of way yeah. later on when they do, you know, they gonna be trying to look out for you. Exactly. You know what I mean? So. And that's and that's the key to the music business: relationships. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it's it's how people remember their experience with you. It might not even be that this that song that session might not have worked out. It might not have been a great writing session, but the experience. Yeah. Of. I felt welcome. She's always looking out. I'm looking out for her. That's why people call you back. Well, thank you. I was that young intern. You sure were? I was that that intern. (laughs) And now look at you. Not not a young intern. Exactly. (laughs) That's Ariana Grande. Break up with your girlfriend. I'm bored. So that song incorporates they borrowed something from a, a, a group that you work with they they had a lot of potential back then <laughs> <laughs> it was called NSYNC y'all heard of that yeah, yeah, yeah. they wrote a song for them that was uh utilized interpolated and that song by now you've got Ariana Grande Ed Sheeran mm-hmm. how do you feel about when people kind of interpolate or sample or cover in some cases like how do you feel about that I absolutely love it <laughs> Oh my god. That bank account loves it too, right? Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah. Um it put it it gives me a new copyright, yeah. obviously. Yeah. And um it get you know, it makes extends the life of the songs that yeah. I've mm, written yeah, before yeah. it. It's like the Ed Sheeran one, um Ariana, Ariana Grande. We and it's a few more, you know, different artists that have, you know, sampled mm-hmm. my songs or whatever mm-hmm. and you know, use it for their songs, which obviously gives me another copyright, which I love it. Keep doing it because it has kept the check going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, it was so funny with that one in particular. I think I was in the Big Brother yeah. house, right? Yeah. And right before I had to go in there, somebody was like, oh, you know, um, Ariana just, you know, asked the sample one of yeah. your songs. But I was like, okay. And went into the house. By the time I got out the house, she had like the number one song on the chart. I was like, they was like, <laughs> guess what? You're out the house and you got a number one song today. I'm like, what? Crazy. I didn't even know. Like, that's, a like, nice that's, right that's a nice a win right there. That's a nice win. Nice mm. win. It was a nice win. It was just, um, it was a really, I just think it was a real, I like the way they did it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's in the bridge of the song. They basically um, took like the whole verse from uh, Makes Me Ill, which was a song that I had wrote for in sync. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that's funny because you know that song. You know they're a guy group, and everybody mm. thought, "Oh, all she do is write male bashing songs." Ah. Like they say back in the day, and I'm like, "Well, I wrote this by myself. Nobody else wrote <laughs> yeah, yeah, this." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't want to shout that one out. <laughs> yeah. If you could pick one of your songs that defines your writing the best, oh, sheesh, what song would that be? Defines my writing the best. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what I would say. Mm. And the reason why I say that is because if I go in my folder, in my Dropbox <laughs> right now, you know, I could put, you know, I could pull out songs from pretty much every different genre mm-hmm. and you wouldn't know that, that is- one person did all of them. Right, right. You know what I mean? I mean, I think what people know of me and the songs that are popular are the more um, 
pop R and B songs or yeah. whatever. Um, so I guess like you know, I guess No Scrubs would be a defining song mm. because it's very strong in concept. Mm-hmm. All my songs normally are strong Come. in concept. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, and hook mm-hmm. title. Mm-hmm. Um, and I always like songs that people can relate to. So that's why I remember when I said I used to keep a notepad. Like I used to have like No Scrubs was just a title that was in my notepad for like mm. a couple months before I ever wrote the song. Damn. Crazy. So, you know, or if we have a conversation that I think is is dope, you know, I'll be like, oh, I need to write a song about this. Yeah. You know, so I would just keep those just an ongoing list and mm. then I would scratch them off as I pick them to use. I, I do the same thing. Yeah. Cause you cause you can hear a song title anywhere. I'll be watching yeah. the movies and be like, oh, that's a yeah. that's song title. Yeah, I'm like yeah. put that in my back pocket for later. Yeah, yep. good title. I love a good title, but you know, I, I feel like, yeah. So for me, I feel like I'm a strong concept person, strong um hook person. I don't know. My melodies is is tight. It's is very like I'm, I, I do this. No yeah. scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> I do, I do no scrub specifically. I'm glad you said that one because it is such a unique melody. It's yeah. such a big song that you kind of like I've heard it so now it's in your but that's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's a, a melody. crazy melody, Phil. You don't know nothing. <laughs> and then culture defining as well, because I just remember like I didn't know what a scrub was before that right. record. The title after too. that, everybody was <laughs> Were you in the passenger side? I was ah. well. I had to be in the past because I was twelve. But um, oh, don't, come on, don't do that. Don't but do that. I just remember hearing my aunts and older siblings. I don't want no scrub, you know. That kind of, and so it became became a part of the fabric uh, yeah, of our culture. Of, yeah. Did but you get you publishing so for funny. No Pigeons? Is the question? I did. Yeah, yeah they had to give us all of it actually yeah. you know because what? they didn't clear it before they put it out. <laughs> oh oh shit. So we got all the publishing from No Pigeons. So you, 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 wow. there was no winning from the No Pigeons. Well, all. no, they had a hit song and they was able to do shows and uh-huh. they made yeah. money. Yeah. But we got our publishing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It That's is how it is. works. Yeah, but yeah. um, no. But what I was going to say about uh, No Scrubs. When I was in school, mm-hmm. as a, no scrubs, like scrubs were the freshmen, mm-hmm. right? Gotcha. And then oh. as I got a little bit older, me and my girls used to be like, when dudes went about, she'd be like, oh, I don't scrub. <laughs> you know, my nerves, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So that's how it flowed into yeah. the song. No, I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get enough from me. Hanging on the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Was no scrubs the song that I guess made you feel like you know what I'm really doing this shit like or is there a moment where you mm-hmm. felt like okay aside from what I've done in escape I've been able to I won't say seamlessly but transition to a point where I'm actually a viable credible songwriter um I guess like after the Destiny's Child cuz it was they were back to back yeah mm-hmm. um because you know Scrubs almost it was kind of funny like they were almost finished with their record, mm-hmm. and uh, Tiny and I, we were trying to do a duo group, and yeah, so that's how we yeah, ended up yeah. having No Scrubs. And L.A. Reid took the record, you know, because he's like, "I want it for TLC." I'm like, "Sure, let him have it." Mm-hmm. You know what I yeah. mean? Uh, sidebar: uh, Ian Burke told us at the time, "Yeah, we like it, but it's not as good as y'all other songs." Just saying, <laughs> but I was okay with it. I'm glad that they took the song. Yeah. Anyway, but um. The whole thing was when I ran into L.A. at a party before the song came out, he was like, I'm going to make this the biggest song of your career. Mm. And I said, I'm looking because I didn't know it was going to be the single. I was just hoping it stayed on the album. Yeah. Mm. And then and we said that. I'm thinking, well, Escape now. We got our own. <laughs> <laughs> my mind, I was like, what do you mean by that? Yeah. But he literally did exactly what he said he was going to do. It is like the biggest <laughs> song of my career. Um, and, and I'm grateful for mm-hmm. it because it came at a time where I was in a transition with my group. I didn't know where my life or my career was headed, yeah. mm. you know, like, cause if you are artist, you do three black back to back albums with your group that are successful and y'all can't get along to say your life, you fall apart. It's like, okay, well, what do I do now? Right, yeah. You know what I mean? So that, that opportunity came and I'm so thankful that back to back, it was like, it put a buzz in the industry, yeah. so more opportunities yeah. followed. You That's know? awesome. I mean, you answered it, but I was always going to ask you, like, songwriter candy, No Scrubs is the biggest thing ever. 
but as an artist in a girl group, did it feel a way to ha- for another girl group potentially to have this song that becomes the biggest of your career? No, no, no. I mean, I was happy because I always wanted to be able to write. By the time, you know, when I really started writing and mm-hmm. stuff, I wanted to write for other people, yeah. but I didn't know how. Mm. Like, I didn't know how to be able to go in and start writing for other artists because you know at that time you know some people had like artists competition vibes you (laughs) know so you know it wasn't like i could just be like hey you know here's a song you know yeah i want to write for you especially Mm -hmm. because like i said jermaine was writing most of our stuff stuff. Mm -hmm. so how i'm gonna look telling you i'm gonna be able to write for you so that opportunity allowed it to for people to see like oh okay she's a dope writer you're like let me see what she could do even when we went to write with um with um destiny's child there um i remember matthew was like yeah we already know what we're gonna do for this album like because the anr has sent you know mm. a, well he sent shakespeare down there and shakespeare asked me to come okay, mm. so it sure. wasn't like i was even <laughs> you weren't even invited asked to come shakespeare asked me to come and um so when we got down there he's like yeah you know we already kind of know the people we're gonna be working with but we'll let y'all go in and see what y'all can do so he didn't really think mm. that we was going to really come sold. up yeah. right. And then we ended up doing five songs on that album. So mm. it just turned into a great situation. Yeah. Back mm. back oh, did it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, did it. When that monkey trying to get to you. When that monkey trying to get to you. When that monkey. Girl, he's simping. simping. I walk up in the club with a limping. limping. So... The Candy Girl era. Like, break that down. You got to break that down for us. Like, How did I, I know you was going to say that? I, I, I got to know. I got to know. Like, <laughs> That is so funny. The Candy Girl era. Okay, yeah. so I guess I went through this phase where, okay, y'all know I'm from the A. Mm-hmm. and I'm Queen of. I'm from the A. You from know what I mean? Yeah. Washington Road, East Point. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, you know, I love, you know, a, a you know, Southern hip hop yeah. music or whatever. I'm, I was cool with Lil Jon. I came out of studio and to work, help him. Oh, I came to help Scrappy at the time, mm-hmm. do some hooks for something he was working on at the time. And Lil Jon just started asking me to well, work on it, do some on this song, put a verse on that song. But at the time it was like, I was putting these nasty ass verses <laughs> on the song so if you pull up candy girl you're like you'll find what is it trillville i had this it was a really i really liked the song though <laughs> but it was, was kind of good it was a uh, one i did you know i like this with mm-hmm. um you and that booty um it was but it was like i was just dropping you know verses on these songs yeah. sometimes he'll have me do a hook or whatever i did it was something else for uh oh i did a few with Gucci Man. Oh, get with this pimping. No, pimpin'. not just that. That one, yeah. When that was tried out. That, that one, tried out. That tried one out. Gucci Man. That yep. was um Big Bang Black. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I did that. Um, but it's a whole bunch of mixtape records that I yeah, got yeah. with old Gucci. Mm. You know, Gucci old, is different. <laughs> Gucci has evolved. <laughs> Gucci has evolved. evolved. <laughs> but you know, get Gucci used to do all the mixtape yep, stuff. Yep. Like there are some Candy Girl, you know, features on mm. a lot of those older um mixtapes. But it's like, I don't know. I just was, you know, how you reinvent yourself. And I was just trying. I wanted to give it a different name because I didn't want it to be like, oh, the Mm R&B candy Mm -hmm. that we know from Mm -hmm. Escape is Mm -hmm. doing this. This is something different. Mm -hmm. So I get to say what I want to say. It could be very raunchy. It could be whatever, whatever. And and some people don't even know that, that you. Candy Girl and Candy, candy is the same thing. person. That's crazy. Wow. Like, I literally have met people that was like, I didn't even realize that was you. It sounds just like me. I don't it know does. how you did that. <laughs> but just because the name, the name is different, different. Yep. they think it's a different person. Wow. Many hats. Many hats. And so there's a tour that you just announced. Yes. Ooh. Hello. That I will be in attendance. I will be in attendance. Yay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Awesome. The Queens of R&B tour. Yeah. Escape. Yeah. SWV. Yeah. Total. 702. And Maya. Maya. Yeah. 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 That's a crazy How? Name. Because we all watched the show. Queens <laughs> of R&B. <laughs> <laughs> we did. So <laughs> how? How? How, how do we get to this point, which we're all happy about? This is well, what yes, we all want. Yes. That is so funny. Well, I have to give it all to Mona Scott mm. Young because she just wasn't giving up, really. Yeah. Um, we all definitely was like good on never, never doing, doing it. 
ever doing a tour. But um, she, they came back and was like, oh, we have this tour opportunity. At first they were saying with other people, then they came back and was like with SWV and we was like, and I'm sure they was doing the same thing because <laughs> they were planning to do a different tour for this year, for the year. Uh huh. And um, but Mona, you know, she talked to everybody and got us all to agree. And then the first day we actually came back to speak yeah. was the clip that they showed online. Wow. That was the first time that we had the gotten, promo clip. Yeah, that was like a few weeks ago. That was the first time that we really sat down and spoke since the TV show went off air. Mm. Was it awkward? Uh, yeah. Well, not really. Meaning, I feel like we all, because we had already agreed to do it, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I think we all came to the set with an open mind and an mm -hmm. open heart. Mm -hmm. But it's just a simple fact that we had not communicated yet. So at the end of the evening, after we shot the promo, we had to have like a kumbaya, which is us. <laughs> That's good. Love just that. them and just us. Yeah. And we talked it out. And yeah, so Yay. I'm happy that we, I, I, I am honestly happy that we did talk because, um, you know, a lot of people may not know, but um, years ago when SWV had split up for a little while, um, Taj had came to Atlanta mm -hmm. and this is when we was young, mm -hmm. was young and I was in writing a lot and we had worked with Tiny and I had worked with her and I had become really, really close with Taj. Like we was, yeah. you Taj know, is cool, keep in cool, touch, cool. Yeah, keep yeah, in yeah. touch. I used to, I went to her wedding, like all that. So I felt like we had like a real connection and yeah. a friendship. You know, mm -hmm. we always feel like we both Tauruses yeah. or whatever. I might say both Tauruses. Yeah. 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 And then to have this falling out was kind of yeah. really whack. Yeah, or whatever. Sucks. You know, so I was glad that we were able to have the talk and mm -hmm. get back on the same page and it's gonna be a crazy tour yeah, yeah. and then okay so the, now the question is because that was an issue last time how do you figure out the ordering because you because now it's not only just y'all <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and SVB, but now you got 702 you got total total and maya, and maya. And maya. okay so just like it was supposed to be on the show mm -hmm. Um, SWV and us, we are having a combined concert. Okay. Okay. So like meaning, kind of like uh, how we did the verses, mm -hmm. and you one after another. Mm -hmm. It's it's not just they go perform and we go perform. Right. right. So our show is going to be intertwined together. Okay. This is the only time you're ever going to be able to see this performance happen like this. That's why I'm encouraging everybody to go to the Get show yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's going to be a different type of yeah. vibe, right? Um, but SWV and Escape are going together that's last. That's one thing. Gotcha. That's, that's one thing. One thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's going before us, that was decided by Mona. Mm -hmm. So if gotcha. they don't like where they are in the lineup, take it up with Mona. Take yeah, it up with her. Don't I don't to do with it. <laughs> because I, I personally felt like, you know, with, you know, for me, as far as like what happened with me and, you know, mm -hmm. the girls or whatever, um, People don't understand. Like a friend of mine just told me this morning, she was like, "You are the nicest mean person." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "What? What does that mean?" <laughs> she was like, "Cause and she was like, you're you could be you're really nice, but if you are just like, you'll just say no with no explanation. Yeah. Yeah. No, I guess kind of like you said. I was like more than two. I don't more do, and then walked out the room. <laughs> like See? to me, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not. I don't necessarily spare feelings. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't feel like what I said wasn't wrong. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel, and mm -hmm. I still stand on it to this day. But it was business to me, and mm -hmm. I don't think they liked the way I said it. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I was like, if it has anything to do. Like y'all gonna figure it out. I don't want nobody mad at me yeah, for because you. because I just feel like if I'm just straightforward with you and be like, okay, well, this is what the business is, blah, blah, blah. This is how it should be. I just feel like you should just be like, well, no, I don't agree. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't yeah. feel like you're supposed to get in your feelings yeah, about it. Yeah, get personal it. about it, yeah. It's not personal. Let's just talk it through. I'm not taking any jabs at nobody. I'm just telling you, this is how This is it, the black and white. Right? This is the yeah. black and white. Yeah. And some people don't necessarily take black and white so nicely <laughs> so i am glad that mona is going to be dealing with anything that's you know a sensitive matter that is business yeah 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 you know and she's I mean? good at that she's great she's the yeah, best that's what she does and yeah. we get to just focus on the fun creative mm -hmm. stuff and i'm excited you know, have a good time yes so yeah, yeah. 
Queens of R&B <laughs> tour. Tickets available now, LiveNation.com. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't I'm, I'm going to be there. I'm, I'm I cannot gonna be, wait. I'm going to be there. Thank you. Don't think I'm not. I yeah, love that special guest this week. Candy. <laughs> that's a big record. That's a big, that's a big, big record. record. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel yeah. to see people like singing every word to you? Like we still know those lyrics. Of course. Oh, like thank you. 20, 20 years about, later. Bruh. You know, it's so funny. Um, that that transition in my life. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, okay. So you know how you feel like a label can really, can, can we curse on this? Yes. Yeah. How a label can really fuck up a project. A lot. I felt like that situation was like a really fucked up situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, meaning because, um, don't think I'm not was doing really great on the pop charts, yeah. but it wasn't really connecting as well on the urban mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. And Columbia wanted me to be an urban artist, artist. so bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas the stuff that I was writing, was really doing well on the pop side. And that's naturally mm -hmm. where my record went, the, yeah. the songs that I was writing on my album. But, you know, back then, not as much now. Now things are different. There yeah. is no envy. There's not a separation. Everybody's yeah, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. you know, on all the chart. But back in the day, it's like if you were black, they really just wanted you to be urban. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I didn't feel like when it really started crossing over, I didn't feel like they really helped continue like to push it the way it needs yeah. because uh, overseas the song you know don't think i'm not really did gr extremely Huge. well mm -hmm. it was yeah. like top 10 and uh you know over there but here it did great and it's on all the what is that now albums yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now albums yeah but and it's so funny i feel like it's still a pop culture song because like anytime that song play everybody know it everyone oh, knows it but i felt like at the time that it was out they weren't showing love it yeah. wasn't the same Love. I don't know. Yeah, that and was I, a TRL staple. Nah, but I, I, I feel yeah. like, and Chuck, you said this to me once. You were like, you were, he was talking about how, to your point now, it's a little bit blurred. Like, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. But you and a bunch of writers and, and, and kind of this whole generation made that happen. Because yeah. I loved pop music. Yeah. You lo and, you were, and you loved, and you were writing and everything. So you, we actually ended up breaking those barriers of, because mm -hmm. it really was, if you're, it doesn't matter what it sound like. If they look at you and you black, mm -hmm. you're doing urban music. I don't mm -hmm. care what you think you, I don't know what you think pop is. Right. You over here. Right. And now, because of that kind of stuff, you probably don't see it because of that. Now anyone can do whatever they want. It's yeah. just it's still not easy. I feel but like it's everybody's doing whatever they want now from a multiple different things. I mean, now you know, so many independent companies, people mm -hmm. able to push, you know, social mm -hmm. media. We didn't even have so, social yeah, media back then, you know, for stuff to go viral. Now yeah. everything you can just yeah. put your own music out, you can go viral, you can build an audience. This is totally different. And you can talk to your favorite artists. Yeah. Cause think about like Imagine if I could just DM Michael Jackson and be like, yo, <laughs> yeah. I got something for I got some hot for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can't nah, you couldn't think, do that I back think then. Michael would be more like Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. You know how like Beyonce, yeah, yeah. she don't follow nobody. No, right, right. She not responding to nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so you just But people like, can talk to you. Oh yeah, like I, That's rare. Yeah. I mean now it, it seems normal, but that was not you couldn't just slide in no one's DMs and be like, hey, I got that a dope song for you back in the day. Not really? back in the day. Everybody is way more accessible now yeah. than back then. Do new artists get your attention that way, like through social media? Um, yeah. Realistically, I think that's the way to go. Like, to mm. if you know, if somebody out. want me to listen to them, I'm like, well, what's your page? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the easiest way to for me to see, you know, what you sound like, yeah. what's your vibe, what you looking like. Right, yeah. right, right. You know. Yeah. Hey, Candy, you're working with the group now, right? Mm -hmm. Siren. Siren. They can sing. Yes, they can sing their asses. Yes, well. they can. Absolutely. Three young women. Yes. They're um, they're what, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Um, mm -hmm. I've be, I be seen them clips online. Oh yeah. Them harmonies are too. Yeah, we're figuring out their sound right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, like I mean, it. it would take someone who knows girl groups also. That's makes the most sense who's written some of the biggest anthems mm -hmm. for your favorite girl groups like mm -hmm. whether it's escape whether it's tlc destiny's child mm -hmm. but also you know the business yeah and can really i'm not gonna lie though it's like like now i am i'm open to taking songs from other people mm -hmm. if they're, they're dope like one of the songs that they recorded that is like my fave i did not write it okay it ain't we ain't released it yet i'm saying <laughs> but it's it, i think it's a it's a dope it's a dope song yeah. it's mm -hmm. a dope song 
Um, so I'm like now I'm like open to you know, like like you got something. Yeah, to, yeah. You know, <laughs> just it in. Because it's like you know I want them to have you know the best of the best. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean. Mm -hmm. So what Which, advice do you give Siren as a as a a, a, a girl group member? <laughs> To, to keep them together. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> some of the things that I already told them from the jump, they had already did. Yeah. Oh, you know man. what I mean? Like, so it's like, it's funny. Like certain things I can tell you, cause I, I was going to do this whole thing about why girl groups don't work. <laughs> you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But it's like within a group, you already going to have different things, you know, people's vibes are not yes. necessarily going to always connect or, you know, it's just always going to be something, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I always say, keep all the outside people out your ear. Mm. Yeah. Because it'd be the outside people yeah. that's really make things work. Yeah. Yes, yes, the yes. Group. Get in your ear and confuse it. And, yeah. Because it, it's an it's a ultimate compromise to be in a group. For the better, good. But y'all got to be on the same page. Right. The whole time. Right. And everyone else is trying to separate just because they can. They think that they can get more out of it if they can get closer to one or two people. Mm -hmm. And it's Them all, sharks in the water, boy. It's always when the groups are just about to. Yeah. <laughs> or as soon Take as they off. hit, then yeah. you'd be like, yeah, yeah. everybody going to be telling you, you need to be solo. Yeah. Or you need to be this. You yeah. need to mm -hmm. be that. Mm -hmm. yeah, it happens to the best of them. Yeah, because after Trace, I was like, Trace, after Trace is on my list, I'm like, they about to be out of here. Uh, I'm like, we ain't getting no video for Softest Place on Earth. I was like, right. yo. I hated that album. You did? Oh, Candy, no, that's my favorite. I love Escape the album. music. I hate the album just because we fell out bad during the course oh, of that project. The recording yeah. of it. Like the whole album, like we knew, you know, that that was going to, yeah. we were going to be on hiatus after that album was yeah. released. So. My, my favorite Escape song is the one that you and Tiny did, Hold On. It's oh, on thank the, you. the last half of that album. But yeah. Thank you. We should play Word Association. I like that. That'd be yeah, a, that'd be a fun it. little game. All right. So, so we'll just call the word out and whatever comes to mind, first thing that comes to your mind. Go you just, but we'll, we'll, we'll all say something and you respond with the first thing that comes to your mind once we throw that word at you. Okay. Atlanta, Georgia. Home. Destiny's Child. Dope. Alicia Keys. Cool as hell. All Escape. Right. Oh, um, one word, one word. Uh, it could be more than one word, just the first idea that comes to your mind. Oh, um, I always say, you know, escape is what raised me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Songwriting. I need to go out of my mouth. Um, fun. Mm. Touring. <sighs> a lot. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. You're like a lot. There's a lot that goes into touring. Yeah. <laughs> Off the hook. Oh. Mm, my favorite Escape album. Okay. Real Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, Catapult. Catapult. Ooh. So, so deaf. Ooh. Maybe I should have said they the ones who raised us. <laughs> <laughs> so, so deaf. Um, that's the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. The TLC. Beginning. Oh. Uh, I have multiple words. You're good. Opportunity. Mm -hmm. Um. And great people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Pink. So yeah. What about pink? Pink. Um. Fun. Would love to work with her again. That'd be a dope. Y'all should get back see that. I would love yeah. that. I would love to work with her again because I feel like, you know, after that first album, her first album was her black album. Right? <laughs> yeah. right? It was her urban album. And I feel like after that album, she, she went you know, started, rock, yeah. yeah, which is great. Um, she transitioned. But I feel like, you know, if somebody considers you to be a part of this era, they probably don't envision you being a part of this other type yeah. of music mm -hmm. that they yeah. do. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would love to work with her again to just be like, yo, I do it all. So <laughs> yeah. I got, Throw I got one of them from, from the hard drive. Uh, yeah, you said exactly, you got drive. right? I got one more. Okay, well. Whitney Houston. Ooh. Um, 
thankful. I'm thankful to have had that opportunity to work with her. Mm. Yeah. Make some noise. Word association that was with good. Candy Burns. Yeah. That was good. So, so Candy, normally we do a special segment, typically uh, uh, the Irby Award, the yeah. Esther Roll Black Excellence Award. But this is the first time Ever. in the history yep. of nearly 100 episodes that we're going to break precedent and do something different. Yep. Yes. Okay. Claude, I'll let you Yo, you want me to set this? All right. Well, okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> like I said, you've been on our list since the top. And I feel like <sighs> songwriters in general don't get their don't get the love. But you're a, you're a unicorn because you are a superstar artist, a yeah. superstar songwriter, superstar producer. But we wanted to make sure you got the love if people are watching and listening for the things they may not know about the credits. Mm -hmm. oh. So rather than give you the award everyone else gets, we wanted to start a new tradition of an award for songwriter hall of famers in our book. Ooh. And you are 100%. The first recipient. The first recipient. Yeah. 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 We sound crazy. <laughs> Candy Burris, Songwriters oh. Hall of Fame. Yeah, man. Oh, sweet. Thank because you. you're all that. Man. That's the first one. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, it's deserved and necessary. This is so nice. And we yeah. won't be handing them out to a lot. Yeah. No, yeah. we will not. It's, just it's a exclusive. Few, yeah. A few of our Yes. Page. Oh, wow. Is it because of my work or because I said more than two? Like <laughs> <laughs> now will you write with me? <laughs> no, no, no. Real, real. <laughs> no, nah, when, when we say exclusive, I mean, we're talking about the upper echelon yeah. of songwriting yeah. of which you Thank are you. in that group songwriter hall of fame should, should we started it but you can you can come behind us and go ahead and induct yeah because it's it's that kind of career that's dope yeah Thank real talk you. real talk oh, we love you candy y'all yes, uh, made me feel so good today we that love so you sweet. we love you so deserving congratulations the first the first the first inductee for our songwriters hall of fame we sound crazy candy bars yes yeah. 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 I like being the first, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love being the Can't first. Can't undo it now. Yeah. You're, right. the first. You're the first. I'm the first. <laughs> You're the first. That's it. So put it next to the, you know, when you get the EGOT, next, you just got to put right the, next yeah. to the Grammys right. and Tonys yes. and Emmys yes. and stuff. Yeah. Yes. No, we're gunning for that EGOT. So we want that to happen for you. Please speak it into my life. Yes. Yeah. I like that. But you took a break from one of your jobs, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Not that you have a shortage of things to do. <laughs> I, I keep telling everybody I quit my job. <laughs> but, you, <laughs> but I ain't really quit. <laughs> I quit the job. Do you yeah. do you miss it? Or or you think you'll miss it? You know, I mean, I I don't think it's been long enough for yeah, me to miss fresh. it yet. Cynthia told me, Cynthia Bailey, mm -hmm. she told me that I will miss it probably when the TV show airs. Mm -hmm. She was like, because okay. then I'm going to see them on TV. And then she said, then I'm going to feel like, oh, dang. I, I'm not, are you going to watch it? Yeah. Okay. I'm still going to watch and support, you know. That's awesome. I see the, the drama online now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Like, this is going to be an interesting season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to watch and support. That's awesome. Um, it's so funny, like. I hate when people leave a situation and then they be wanting to dog it out. Trash it. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's mad housewives right now that are bashing. I hate that. You feel yeah. that? You don't like that? I don't like that because I'm like, when you was a part of it, it was all good yeah, then. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then after you leave, then you got all these negative things to say. I feel like just take the great experience that you had and the good things that you got out of it mm -hmm. and continue to build from there. Like, it's no need in bad mouthing the okay. situation after you walk away from it. It's like walk away and yeah. So you leave positively, like you you feel good. You, oh, for sure. That's awesome. Not everyone has that experience. I so. mean, it is what it is. I I love that you left on your own terms. Right. It yeah. wasn't like. <laughs> oh, thank you. You are forced out or anything. I was like, that's so. I G. mean, I have so been there for fourteen years. <laughs> <laughs> fourteen but long years. Fourteen but seasons. It, in my opinion, it wasn't. It wasn't like you overstayed your welcome though. It's oh, like thank you. you made me feel so good. Yeah, like. You know, I think, um, you know, sometimes with, you know, some blog pages could be for you and some blog pages yeah. can, can be against yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you see things from the blog pages that are against you, you be like, well, damn, maybe I should be gone because y'all show. Yeah, y'all yeah, going in. Y'all going, <laughs> going in on me, yeah. you know. So you never know. I mean, as far as for me, I don't know about everybody, everybody else's experience. I don't know what everybody, you know, how everybody feels. I know I know it's tons of people like, dang, I'm really going to miss you on the show. But, you know, it might be people that be like, Shoo, I'm so glad she's gone. <laughs> I mean, you always have a lot going on, and I think that helps. And everybody want to use the word storyline nowadays, but mm -hmm. you always have something going on. And for me, that 
that helps me keep me interested. Like when you can always tell when somebody trying to like really pull for something to yeah. be relevant for on the show. So, I always yeah, I find it like to be so hilarious when people be like, that storyline. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, this is my life. Right, this is my real <laughs> life. And uh, I don't really know what to tell you. You know what I mean? I'm not going to make up something to be yeah, put yeah. out there for you. And, you know, and people be like, oh, she used me for a storyline. They be like, was you on this show? <laughs> well, if you're on this show, we're supposed to be talking to and about each other. Yeah. That's how it works. That's the business of it. That, that's, that, that's that Taurus black and white we were talking <laughs> that's about. That's the black and white. That's the black and white of it. The black and white. As, as, did we talk about your acting? Because acting is a big deal right now. Listen. Let's talk about the, the shy. The shy. We're the shy. shy. Yeah. Yeah. Tune in. The shy. The shy. Are, you, are you having fun? Are you enjoying it? I love other? it. Um, I love being a part of the shy. I think they did something interesting with my character for this part of the season. Because, you know, this they split mm-hmm. season six mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. So, we call it season six, part B. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, six yeah. B, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I want they, him dead, Candy. Same. No, I'm alive on the show. I want no, him dead. Him dead. I'm, I'm staying out of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you take up with Lena. <laughs> I don't it's also that. a Taurus. No, I'm just no but it, 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 number one, again, killing it. But it's, it's just cool to see you getting them dreams out. Yeah. Well, thank you. I mean, but that's what we're supposed to do, y'all. Yeah, yeah. We got to, if we got dreams, like if we got yeah. ideas, we're supposed to go after them. Like, I hate when <laughs> you can't just let the dream sit because then somebody else going to do it. They're going to do that, it. That, that yeah. really stings when and, someone else does oh it. Oh, my God. You're going to be like, oh, I would have, should have. I can't stand here. A person talking about some would have, should have, could have. <laughs> I'll be like, Lord, but you believe <laughs> you. <laughs> You didn't, okay? <laughs> so it's yeah. your problem. Not I feel you, but congratulations on that. And I, I know that's going to lead to, I mean, EGOT, like we said. EGOT. EGOT. Going for it. Yeah. Let's go. EGOT, EGOT, EGOT. <laughs> EGOT. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, like, y'all, if, Lord, Lord. Lord. When Lord. this Tony come through, I'm going to say when. 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 I'm going to be hitting flips around here. Do you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be hitting flips. Last year. I had got nominated for an Emmy and a Tony in the same couple, like back to back, two yeah. days a yeah, day yeah. apart. And when I tell you, I was like, oh my Just, God. Unfortunately, I didn't get him, but still going after him. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Right there. You in there, you in there now. You right in there, there now. Yeah. I, I, I believe it's going to happen. Yeah. Come on, speak I, it. Positive. Egot. Egot. Let's go. <laughs> This has been a great conversation. The so best. Well, the thank best. You. Thank you for thank you for thank you for coming. And thank well, you thanks for me. having me and thanks for this award. I yes. really appreciate yes. it. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Shout out to Don Juan in the building. Hey. Thank Don, you. Don Juan. not on camera right now, but he's definitely the he's definitely our character. <laughs> <laughs> There's space here, Don. Next time for you too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> There's space. Make sure you follow us on all platforms at We Sound Crazy and We Sound Crazy.com. And a special shout out to Visit Music City for always holding our podcast down. Thank you. Special shout out to Candy Coated Nights because it's freaking out. <laughs> Candy Coated <laughs> you know Are you the person with all the information? Uh, of course. <laughs> they, they, call, they call me the music aficionado. aficionado. He, he knows, knows everything. Oh, details. you know yeah. everything. Yeah. No, but he was so excited. To have, I mean, yes. he, literally from the beginning, he said yeah. season one. We got to get candy yeah. on. We got to get candy yep. on. I love me some candy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Candy Burst. Thank you so much. Until next week, y'all. We sound crazy. We out of here. Peace. 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 We sound crazy. crazy.